I thought we could do a real life family dinners video. Okay. What if she just. <laughs> I got the woman. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> That's my I have no hip stance. For today, start the week off on a Sunday. I wanted to preface this by saying we smoked an entire turkey yesterday. So today we're making creamy chicken taquitos, but instead of chicken, turkey. So we're just gonna use the turkey meat all week in all of these different recipes. And so I'm just chopping it kind of smaller. I picked the carcass clean. I boiled the bones for broth. It's gonna be a good week. So Dave has generously chosen to help me under threat of death. Um, so he's mixing up cream cheese and salsa in here and I'm gonna uh, dump in I don't know, maybe not all of this. What do you think? Is that like like two cups right there? Yeah, we, we three got, cups. We got room for some turkey. Yeah, Four cups. Good. That's good. Is that good? Yeah. We'll see what it looks like. Um, hang on, we got more ingredients to go. I need some yeah. lime juice, cumin. Do you say cumin or cumin? Cumin. Cumin. Lime juice, cumin, green onion. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. And I need some cheese. A bunch of cheese. So I have some cheddar. And queso, queso quesadilla cheese. Onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder. I forgot what hot, hot pockets are. Mm. Um, they're like frozen sandwiches, I guess. I'm looking for onion powder, so you remember that. Yeah. Um, it's in a bottle that says onion powder. Sweetheart? <laughs> I don't know. Probably on the bottom. Okay, where's my lime juice? Seriously? When are we going to make gingerbread sauces? I did chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. Wonderful. Is that everything? That's everything. We're gonna add a little more cheese. We're gonna mix it up one final time and then start making our stuff. Okay. Yeah. A little faster. So now we're gonna fill our flour tortillas. That's a joke. We're gonna bake these in the oven. Don't worry, they'll get super crispy. So we'll get a spoonful of our filling. There's a filling. And we're just gonna put it on our tortillas, like like in a line like that. And you don't wanna put too much because you wanna roll them fairly tight. And, okay, not quite in the center. More on a third, like one third over. <laughs> and you're just gonna roll them up like that and put them on a cookie sheet. These are really good to freeze. You can like roll them up just like this and then freeze them. You just have to cook them a little bit longer when they thaw, but it's a really nice make ahead. And way tastier than any of that stuff you pre-buy, you know what I mean? Kids absolutely adore these. Would you agree with that, Dave? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when I made these for the family reunion? I had pre-mixed all of the filling and then just rolled them and baked them for like a lunch one day. One See that? lump up there. Oh, that one's tight. Yeah. One lump back. Here is how you make them crispy in the oven. You spray the tops with cooking spray. That's the secret. And then you bake them at 425 for 15 minutes. This is what two taquitos looks like. I made enough for about three each. Do you think you'll be able to eat three? They're pretty big. They are pretty big, and I want to save room for the cookies. Good call. Okay. Kid approved. Mom, um, I am only eating one, so I have enough room for the cookies. Okay, well, we're not going to do the cookies for like four hours. Okay. So, so you can two. have you can have two. Hey, Ryan, is this a uh, six-year-old approved? Um, it's really good. Welcome to Monday. Sorry if I seem a little groggy, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I've felt like sleepy ever since I woke up. Tonight for dinner, we're having turkey tetrazzini. Uh, it's from Paula Deen's magazine. I'll leave a link down below for you. It actually came together super, super fast in like 20 minutes. And then it baked in the oven for 30 minutes. Props to my friend Melissa for hooking me up with the Ritz for the topping because I did not have any. It smells really good. We have some leftover salad over here, some, ouch, some corn, <laughs> and some grapes uh, for the kids. I think I'm totally gonna dig into those. I'm really thirsty, and like the juicy sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. I've been eating these all weekend. So, 
here is our dinner tonight. And then you're gonna start going back. Um, do you want to explain your empty plate to me? It was absolutely delicious. Is it because it was Paula Deen or is it because we smoked the turkey? I think it's a combination of both. <laughs> Honestly, it was so good. Look at Haley's. So good. So that's a winner. Oh yeah. Didn't someone say, why don't I make this more? Who said that? I did. Oh, that was you? <laughs> You're supposed to be meal prepping, not eating out of the pan. It's so good. <laughs> Would you st <laughs> That's, it's really filling. I don't know why it doesn't look like that much on camera, but this is like a lot. You have got to stop eating. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'll just have one or 12. <laughs> it's several hours later. I've been working on my online class that I teach for the last couple hours. Um, it's like nine o'clock. I decided to walk through the kitchen for a second to talk to Dave. And <laughs> I thought I would share this with you because I don't know that you know this about me. Um, you know, everyone has like the one thing that they have to have done in the house, like more than anything. And for some people it's making the bed. Like they, they can't start their day until the bed's made. So mine <laughs> has changed through, um, through my married life. Tell them about when we first got married, what I hated to do more than anything, and I never would do it. The finishing touches on the kitchen. Primarily the kitchen counters. Yeah. I'd wash dishes all day. I could still wash dishes, dishes all day. Dishes do not bother me. I'm happy to wash the dishes. But now, <laughs> like, if I see crumbs on the counter, I'm pretty sure I start, like, my eye starts twitching, twitching and then I'm like, must wipe off the counter. <laughs> Must do it. Must do it. Things have changed. That just happened to me. I walked through the kitchen and I was like, oh! <gasps> I walked by and I was like, no. I cannot go to sleep with it looking like this. Oh no. Am I being a little over dramatic? Maybe. I, I hate crumbs on the counter. I hate it so much. I cannot go to sleep like this. <gasps> it's a sickness. It's Tuesday. I'm home from work. Been home for a while actually. Was working on bills. I was paying paying some bills because that's really, really fun. Working on the budget, making sure uh, the rest of December looks good. I wanted to calculate out how much I was going to put in our retirement accounts for this month. Uh, the last three months, like October, November, and then December, I have put every single last penny I could find into retirement. Just like load them up as high as I can. Uh, so it's about 2.40 right now. My little boys will be home from school in just a minute. I am prepping dinner for tonight. Continuing on with the turkey, we are going to have turkey pot pie because chicken pot pie is like one of my favorite things ever. It's one of my kids' favorite things ever. And it's a great way to use up uh, stuff in your fridge. So this is what I pulled out today. While I'm working, I'm watching Max. You guys watch Max Tuning? I like him, he's very funny. I found these potatoes at the bottom of my drawer. So fun fact about potatoes, uh, they're actually good to eat, however old they are, as long as they still look good and smell good. So this one's fine. This one is less fine, clearly. Blah! As long as they look good and smell good, they are still good to use. Uh, that is coming from my neighbor whose father is a potato farmer. So I have all these potatoes to use. I have a ton of onions. Well. I have more than that, but the potatoes were hiding under the onions. Some celery, I have these carrots that look meh, okay. These carrots that are from my garden that are still good. And I also found these carrots. I thought my kids took these for lunch, but I guess not. And they need to be used. So I've got tons of veggies here. I may pull out some green beans or peas or something and throw that in later, I'm not sure. Uh, that's a salad, we'll just have that on the side tonight. Here's my turkey container that I'm gonna be using. No way am I using this whole thing. Maybe like a third of it. Uh, I have a recipe that I made for uh, either chicken or turkey pot pie on the channel before, and also my pie crust, which I'll be making from scratch. I will leave those uh, down below if I can find them. Uh, I'm probably gonna make like a double batch of the filling and freeze half of it. So the next time I want chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie, the filling is already done. It's so I could just pour it in uh, a crust and bake it, so. This is real life right here. Homework. 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 Coloring. And this one has a choir concert tonight. It's 
Thursday. I apologize for not filming Wednesday's dinner, but I can tell you about it because it's easy. It involved chicken, oh I'm sorry, turkey tetrazzini, turkey taquitos, leftover salad, and the turkey pot pie was already gone. So we had leftovers yesterday. And we also had quite a situation. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've already heard about it. If you haven't, check out my info down below and join me there. Uh, let me show you our mishap. Our dishwasher caught fire. So that's fun. You like her? Our elf Sam is hanging out right there on the side. Yeah, uh, our dishwasher caught fire. Literally smoke pouring out of it. So there's the clean dishes. <laughs> I ordered a new one already. It should be here next week. It's gonna slightly affect my plans on cooking for the rest of the week because I don't have a dishwasher and I have to wash everything by hand. Oh, and by the way, fun fact to get the garbage disposal to work the power needs to be on which means this is a live wire all i'm saying is basically it's been a fun week at the frugal fit mom house i'm going to take all my turkey that i have and stick it in the freezer and i will just get to the rest of it later simple will be the key for the rest of the week and since today on thursday i do cub scouts i do the nine-year-old boys for cub scouts uh, from four to five, dinner kind of sneaks up on us. Um, so I want it to be easy. Fortunately, I have these hot dog buns and these frozen hot dogs. So guess what we're having for dinner? <laughs> That's right, hot dogs. I do also have the Orida French fries that I picked up at Smith on the deal when they were 99 cents. So I'll pull a bag out. I'll put some foil on the cookie sheet and bake them in the oven and then I'll just crumple up the foil and throw it away and I won't even have to wash the pan. This is like almost no dishes dinner, right? So it's just gonna be hot dogs and fries tonight. I do have some salad ingredients for those that would like some salad items and a watermelon over here for some fruit on the side. So hot dogs and french fries it is tonight. They love it when I make hot dogs. I say make like I'm actually cooking something. You don't cook, you don't make hot dogs. You heat up hot dogs hot dogs is like my like lazy dinner <laughs> i ran out of time i don't know what to make it's my give up dinner and they adore it so i figure it's a it's a win-win situation i just want to say this is real life family meal i pulled everything out of the fridge <laughs> we've got pizza going on here hot dogs going on here there's a little bit of that tetrazzini left. I think this is it. I don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, that's the sweet potatoes I made. There is this guac. We gotta eat this guac, you guys. Oh, I can do it. And yeah, then, I really can. Dave, you gotta start eating this hummus. Oh, you can have that with the salami and the crackers. I will. But you know what? I've been trying to eat the jalapeno and cheese bagels that you made me eat for the last couple days. Those are gone. No, they're not. There's still one more right there. Oh, are you eating that? I don't know what I'm eating because you keep giving me a list of things I have to eat. Okay, we'll just eat them all. <laughs> I'm having a salad. There's still a piece of oh, over here. shoot. Well, give Ryan a shot. He'll eat it. I'm having this big salad I can finish from that. Walk. I'm going to put some cheese, some croutons, and some bacon on that. You want to make what? Um, Jackie Bald and cheese. This is dinner tonight. Uh, this is leftover ham from Thanksgiving. It's been in the freezer, so I thawed it out. And we're going to have ham potato casserole. It's something I never learned about until I married my husband and had it with his family. You're in trouble, go. And we're going to eat these rolls with it and the rest of this salad with it. It's going to be oh so good. Here's the casserole before it goes in the oven. It's basically one bag of frozen shredded hash browns. I cut up a bunch of that leftover ham some sour cream, a can of cream of chicken, and some butter and salt and pepper. And you mix it all together. And I'm gonna bake it for 30 minutes and then top it with cheese and something crunchy like Ritz. It's a very sizzly. Rolls, we made some cookies today. And Dave's bringing up the green beans. Here's our dinner. Man, this smells delicious. Yeah, it does. Holy moly. It may, not, it may not be the most gourmet meal in the world, but man, it's tasty. Welcome to the last night of our week of real life family dinners tonight. We are having instant pot butter chicken. What I like about this meal is that it's very fast and also that I have 
basically two instant pots and I can do the butter chicken in one and the rice in the other one. I mean, what did this come together in 20 minutes? Recipe for the butter chicken down below in the description box. This, who stirred that already? Oh my gosh. This is brown rice in the instant pot. Non, I heat it up in the oven in here. Some salad over there and some water to drink. And that's gonna be tonight's dinner. Do you guys remember when I made this last time? Yes. You excited? It was good. It was really good, so I'm hoping it's I don't know what it is. works the same. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of family dinners that I made for you. Some nights we really had it together and other nights not so much. And that's just kind of the way it goes. We do the best we can with what we have. And as long as everybody gets fed and no one goes to bed hungry and there's a vegetable here or there, I call that a win. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed and leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys like to do on those really, really busy nights. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.